Hello guys, what is up? This is me, Rahul here, bringing you guys another another baseball uh, another baseball season review. Today we're gonna be going over the 1955 Wake Forest Team and Deacons baseball season review. So before we get started, please be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to don't forget to subscribe and click on that video, guys. Also, thank you guys so much for the kind love and support. And let's get started. So their record was 28 wins, 7 losses. They were the ACC champions. And this was their first College World Series win. They were the runner-ups in the 1946 one. No, not 1949. Sorry, 1949. And what's so crazy about this is they, 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 like, wow, they did it in a very interesting fashion. Um, but that's neither here or there, but they haven't been to the College World Series Finals since 1955. We're going to go over their roster real quick. Their head coach was Taylor Sanford, their assistant head uh, uh, assistant head coach was, um, assist, uh, assistant coach was, uh, uh Jack Stallings. Players were John Stokey, Ralph Admin, Bill Walsh, Lowell Lefty Davis, Jack McGinley, Buck Fitcher, Art Bun, Zogny, Lee Abbott, uh, Harl Moore, Jack Bryant, Bill Bar Barnes, Bob Wagner, Tommy Cole, Luther McKeel, George Miller, Frank McRae, Jim Horn, Bob Kuntz, and Lynn Woodholt. Their season record was 28-7. AC ACC champions, and like I said, this was their first College World Series win. So, yeah, let's get straight into this. So, in the regular season, they won against the NC Wolfpack, the East Carolina Pirates, East Carolina Pirates, yes, Michigan Spartans, and the Ma Maryland Terrapins, 19-6, to 14-5, 5-4, 6-2. Then they lost against the Yale Bulldogs five to four. They clapped back with a win four to two. Then they faced off against Rollin Rollins Tars ninety two they won against the Rollins Tars NC State North Carolina. They won nine to two, eight to two, two to nothing. They lost against the South Carolina Gamecocks to the set two to seven. They won against the North Carolina Tar Heels, nine to five, North Carolina Duke Blue Devils and Lynchburg Hornets. Uh, yeah, that's an actual team. They're Division Three, and for the Rollins Tars, they're in Division Two now. Anyway. They won against uh the, the Wake Forest won against North Carolina nine to five, Duke seven to two, Lynchburg ten to nine. They lost against NC State four to seven. They face off against Clemson Tigers, yes, and they won eleven to four Wake Forest. Then they go back to North Carolina. Wake Forest lost two to three. Then they won four straight against Duke Maryland. Virginia, Calaviers, and Clemson. Wake Forest won 12-8, 4-2, 9-5, 15-11. Then they lost to NC State 8-9. But thankfully, they closed, Wake Forest closed the year off with three straight wins against East Carolina, 11-10. They uh, Duke, 12-5. Virginia, 4-2. So, they're... Record, as you can see, is 19-5 in the regular season. Then they get invited to the 1955 NCAA 
baseball tournament. Yes. There, they face off against the West Virginia Mountaineers baseball team. Yes, that's an actual thing. They won 5-1. and one. They lost 7-9. to nine. Actually, no. Okay. They first faced off against Rollins. Uh, Tars, they won, they won 6 to 2 and then 4 to nothing. Then they, um, uh, how do I put this? <sighs> then they won against West Virginia, um, 5 to 1. They lost to Virginia 9 to se uh, 7 to 9, and then Wake Forest would. Game three on the line, six to five. I did get that right. And this was a district. This was district three tournament. Now, for the College World Series. So, I'm going to go over the teams that qualified. You have Arizona, who was part of the Border Conference, Col uh, Arizona Wildcats. The Colgate um, Red Raiders. Um, they're now called the Red uh, Raiders, but Colgate Red Raiders, they were independent. Colorado State Bears. They're now called North Carolina Bears. Uh, from the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Um... Then you have Oklahoma State, who were called Oklahoma A&M. Uh, um, Oklahoma State Cowboys, but they were formerly called the Oklahoma A&M Aggies from the Missouri Valley Conference. Then you have the Springfield Maroons from Springfield College as an independent then you have the USC Trojans from the California Intercollegiate Baseball Association. Then you have Wake Forest uh, Demon Deacons, uh, Demon Deacon, Demon uh, Deacons from the At Atlantic Coast Conference. Then you actually have the Western Michigan Broncos from the Mid America Conference. Okay, so. Their first game, they won against Arizona, 4-1. to one. They won against, I'm going to use the term, uh, the name correctly here, even though because of the logo, Oklahoma A&M. No, actually, no. Oh, ah, mm, I talked about Western Michigan. Crap. Okay. They, Wake Forest, I, t I, I was, oh, God. Wake Forest won against Colgate, 1-0. to zero. Then... They won against Colorado State College, ten to nothing. They lost to Western Michigan, nine to zero, which is considered the upper final. Then they go into the semifinals. Wake Forest actually wins against Western Michigan, ten to seven. So they keep this in mind. In the upper final, Western Michigan won against Wake Forest, nine to zero. Then they, then Wake Forest wins 10 to 7 against Western Michigan. Wake Forest then faces off against Oklahoma A&M from the loser bracket and wins to 2 to nothing. Then they win against Western Michigan again for the final time, 7 to 6 to secure their spot. And that is how we actually have a 9-2 to postseason record with the District 3 tournament. And that's how 20 wins and 7 losses come into play. So, anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. You all are legends of my book, as well as for me. I will see y'all in the next one. Take it easy and peace.